When I'm back in the US visiting family and friends, I'm always so happy to see everybody and also to visit my old home, but there are actually some things that I miss about London when I'm in the US. Is it weird to say that I miss recycling when I'm in the US? I talked about the differences between how Americans and the Brits recycle in my video that talks about the differences between living in the UK and the US. And so whenever I'm in the US, I always feel like I'm being so wasteful because they just don't really recycle as well as we do in London. And when I go out to eat in the US, I'm usually missing the smaller food portions that we have in London. Personally, I don't eat very much. So when I'm in the US and I get a big old bowl of pasta, it usually lasts me like two or three days. So at least you can do takeaway there, which is good because it doesn't put the food to waste. But sometimes I just don't want that much food. I've become such a fan of the classic British fashion ways. And I love that everybody in London dresses up just a little bit more. And sometimes when I'm going to dinner with my family while I'm in the US, they ask me why I'm so dressed up. And I'm like, I'm not dressed up. I just like to look a little bit nicer for dinner. Everyone else is sometimes a bit more casual than me. So this one is more of when I'm visiting my family out in the suburbs as opposed to being in like a big city. But I I miss being able to take public transportation pretty much everywhere that I want to. Growing up on Long Island, I never lived close enough really to anywhere that I could just walk or cycle to. And in London, I love that I can really get anywhere, especially since I don't drive here. So when I'm visiting my family on Long Island, I kind of miss having that fresh air and having that little bit of exercise and instead have to like get in and out of the car all the time. I always forget when I go back to the US that tax is not included in the price of things at the store. And it always catches me by surprise the first time I go up to the register and they ring it up and it's not what it says on the tag. I always miss that about London and really the rest of Europe because it just means when you go up to the register, you know exactly how much you're gonna pay. It's not really gonna be any little surprises. Although what I don't miss is having so many coins all the time when I'm in London. One dollar is still in paper, much easier to carry. This one might come a little bit as a shock, but I actually miss not having air conditioning because it doesn't get very hot in the UK in the summer, not many places will have air conditioning. Sure, like restaurants and stuff, but people's actual houses and flats don't often have air con. In the US, and specifically like New York where I always go, obviously everybody has air conditioning because it gets pretty hot there in the summer. But I always am cold and everybody always cranks the air conditioning up to like the coldest temperature. So I actually hate going into a house after being outside because I'm always freezing when I'm inside. And I have to put like a sweatshirt on and it just feels kind of wasteful of energy. And I also really love having the windows open, which obviously you can't do if your house is air conditioned. By the way, I got the inspiration for this video from the YouTube channel Wanted Adventure. And she talks about the things that she misses from Germany when she's back in the US visiting family and friends. You can watch that video if you click the card popping up here. Is there anything that you missed from London when you went back home to the US after visiting? Let me know in the comments section of the video. And make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking my face that's popping up here. And then watch this video next.